Hey guys, it's Brandon Buller Jr. here with another video. Today I'm going to show you our new breeder box for the chicks. So here's our breeder box. Is This is where the chicks, when they get old enough, first few days or week or so, they'll stay in the house. And then they'll come out here and live in this. They've got a three gallon water. They have a roost that I made. So that they can root, because th these chicks are a few weeks old. I'll let it to about five weeks, but it's raining and cold outside. So, they're going to go up, they're going to stay in here a little bit till it gets warm. It's four feet by two feet. It's got metal, it's metal coated over the wood. So, it'll be easy to clean out during the summer, or even now, I can take it outside and hose it if needed. We have a flat stone with our feet on it. So that it helps to prevent from shade is getting the feed. We have bricks under the water, but we have the silky chicken duck is not able to reach above the bricks. So we have little steps for him. So yeah, here it is. It works. Real, it's gonna work really good, hopefully, and keep heat in it. We're gonna show you what else we're gonna use. What else we're gonna use for it? Okay, so I made it so that we can cover half of the brooder with this wood, and it goes on. You put two screws on the side. Screw A. Screw B. Sorry for the lighting. We're in the back of our pool house, so it's dark. Cause there's no lights back here, and you just slide it up to the screws. So now you've got half of it covered, and that helps a lot already with just keeping it warm. And then on this half, we're going to put something else over it. You'll get to see in a second. What is up, everybody? It's Brenda Buller Jr. here. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Today, I'm coming at y'all with a new video. Just want to show y'all our new brooder box for the baby chicks. Here we go. It's four feet by two feet. It has, I just built this, it has a roost so that the chicks are able to roost like a full-grown chicken would and they get in the habit of it that way when they get in the coop they know to roost and not to stay on the ground where they're more likely to get eaten by predators we have our heat lamp and a piece of wood that is screwed to both sides of the box it's dark because there's no lights out here we're in the pool house where we placed it we have our shavings we have a flat stone with a food on it to keep Okay, guys, sorry. Okay, guys, sorry. We had to go look at something real quick. But we have a flat stone with the feed pan on it. This is to help prevent shavings in the feed. We have our water. It's a three and a half gallon from Trash Supply by Harris Farms. And it's on bricks to keep feed at, to keep shavings out of as much as possible. But we have duck, the silky chicken. So we put the bricks beside it and shavings in the hole so that you can get up there and get some water. Here it is. We're gonna show you what we use for extra insulation. Okay, so we have this other piece of board that we can slide. And I put two screws on each side, same line, so that you can just slide it up to the screws and you know where it goes. It covers it, has a little bit hole just where, no, what's good for ventilation. Plus, it's just, and one ended up being taller than the other. What's great about this wood is it can, it's metal coated. So it's very easy to clean up. We're most likely going to caulk around the inside of it so that stuff won't get out of it. And we're going like water, etc. And then during the summer or even now, I can take it outside on the hand truck, hose it out, dump it over, and dry it out, put more chicks in it. So we have that. But that still leaves an open spot, and especially when the chicks are roosting at night, there's a possibility that they can jump out. So we're going to show you what we do to fix that. Okay, so we have this old rug from inside the house, and we're going to use this to cover the open part so that it keeps the brood warm. We folded it up, so when, you work, when you're on a home set and you're on a budget, you learn to do, deal with what you have. <laughs> Quit. Yep, okay. So, 
We, now that we showed y'all the breeder, we're going to remove the chicks some inside the house. Then this little bucket. And we're going to put them in the breeder. One by one. So this is our largest one. And he's really, it, it's ready to go outside. But it'd be okay. It's just a raining and it's cold. And it's supposed to get in the 30s at night. So we're going to go ahead and get him in there. Another one. These are olive, Edgar, and what else was it? A lavender or pink mixes. We got them from a guy at the street. And now they're already get some water. I took out their water a few minutes ago, or maybe 30 minutes ago. So I was planning on putting it out here and forgot I needed it for the other chicks. We're gonna get this other one. I think this one has a lot more of a lavender. Orpington than the other ones. It's a little bit lighter. Very pretty chicken, so. We're gonna stick it in. Who else do we have? Okay, let's see what I'll pick them up. Okay, another one. Same thing. Lavender Orpington Easter egg. Is what they, so they, they've come out not very nicely, though. We'll stick it in. Get the heat. Another, I think this is more olive egger. See, it has darker. It's still, and it just looks more like olive egger than the lavender orpingtons. We've got olive. This is a olive egger. We believe purebred olive egger. And it is olive if it's a hen. It ends up being a rooster. We're going to call them olive egg. And possibly get rid of them because I don't need a bunch of resources. <laughs> Last one. And then the famous chicken of the channel. We have Duck. He's cold, so we're going to get him in there. But he's a, y'all know about him, but he's a silky crossbred. He's coming out very nicely. Um, he gets along very well with the larger chickens. Come on, that's, that, that's probably the one that, that's probably the only roost he'll be able to get on. But, and this is it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching the video. Please sure to like, share, comment, blah, blah, and subscribe. If y'all, I thought about setting up a live stream with a camera just on the chicks. And y'all can see, almost like Explore Our Orders, y'all can just see them eating, drinking, roosting. We'll have a, I've got a ex old phone so I can set up a live stream. If y'all like that, please be sure to comment and let me know. All right. Be sure to come back next time. Bye, y'all.